What's up everyone, Matt Arroyo here, and I'm gonna do a fight breakdown of AC Slater versus Zach Morris. Okay, let's see how it plays out. Hey Zach, yo, last night at the movies, you went too far. So Slater's coming in hot here. He's pissed off, he's got his pleated trousers, his button down, tucked in shirt, he's ready to go. He gets right in Zach's face, although it gives him a little bit of respect. He doesn't get right in his face, but he's getting close. And he said, last night you went too far, so let's see. Just help the mother get together with her son. What's so wrong about that? Okay, so Zach's making jokes, which is going to fire up Slater even more. And, you know, he's not wanting to fight. doesn't think anything's going on. He thinks maybe Slater's a little upset, but let's see how it goes. Wrecking my date with Joanna wasn't funny. Ah, it's over a woman. He wrecked his date with Joanna. Okay, so Slater's mad. Look at the head tilt, slightly pointed in. Zach's still smirking. Oh. But now Zach gets serious. A little light slam to the locker, squaring up. Like it was funny wrecking my study date the night before. Notice neither of them have their hands up. At least a Gracie prayer stance, you know, nothing too aggressive. Just hands kind of by their chin should be. But no, look, he's on, it's on his capris here. And his are in his pleated trousers here. Hey, you started it, man, making me look like a jerk at the max. Look at that point. He almost popped him in the chest with that finger. He even got a little closer. Nobody makes Slater look like a jerk at the max. So that's what you are. Oh, shots fired. That's what you are. What did you say? What did you say? So he's asking rhetorical questions. Rhetorical questions always comes before a fight. You heard me. Get out of my face. Okay. This is California. They're at uh, Bayside High. So I don't know what the rules are there. But here in Florida, it's a stand your ground state. He told him to get out of his face. Slater's getting even closer. Zach has every right to pop him. And what if I don't, punk? Another rhetorical question. What if I don't punk as he steps even closer? They are six inches away. Anything can happen. And I'll just have to make you, punk. Now notice they're both squared up. They're both upset. Man, nobody has their hands up. Nobody's in a ready stance. If Slater wanted to blast Zach's nose with his forehead, he can just pop him, vice versa, bing. Are you guys crazy? Oh, that was perfectly fine and legal. He got in his space. He gave him a nice little brush to back him away. But Slater, let's talk about Slater. He was raised by a military dad. Okay, this guy was a drill sergeant. He wrestled every year of high school, every year of middle school. This guy is an athlete. Zach, on the other hand, see how hard he pushed him? Zach, on the other hand, was raised very wealthy, very soft, I would say. You know, but his dad wasn't around a lot. His dad was always on his on his big old phone and, and doing his other stuff. So Zach probably resents a lot of his dad and has a lot of anger issues as a kid. So let's see how this plays out, because that could sometimes help you fight as well. So Slater slams him into the locker. Oh my goodness, you guys missed that. That was beautiful. Did you guys see how when Slater pushed Zach into the locker, he was square. But the second he bounced off of the locker, he had turned his shoulder and made it not square so that his big right hand was behind him. Let's look at this. Look at that. He shaded back. He was ready for the punch. Look at the face. He was ready. Boom. Straight right hand. Lands flush. Slater eats it like an all-state wrestling champ. Comes forward. Already knew what he wanted to do. He had a plan. Zach tries to get double underhooks. Slater gets double overhooks. Drops his hip. Lower than Zach's. Look at this. Beautiful. Ready for a throw. Throws Zach right over. Zach had a nice break fall. He landed with smacked the ground a little bit. Landed. Look at this. Before he could even establish side control, before he even gets on top, he throws a straight right hand right at Zach. Flash knockout. Look, he's stiff as a board. Trying to get that left underhook, but he's out. Once his head bounces against the ground, it wakes him right back up. He tries to get a nice head throw, trying to throw him over to get top position. But instead, Slater, with his state champion wrestling, gets his base down on the right here. But Zach turns into a beautiful deep underhook. Wrestles up to dogfight position. Slater gets the wizard immediately. They're in the dogfight position. Zach tried to look for a sweep, but Slater stood up. So Zach uses the double underhooks to get up. He's looking to suck his hips in. Gracie 101, keeping his head tight so he can't get hit. But Slater throws his hips right back out. Look, Zach wants the trip here. He can't get it. Slater gets his butt out. And Slater starts using frames now to create distance to land more strikes. 
But of course, Belding has to break it up. He knows they're friends. So if I was to, to score that round, I would give it 10-9 Slater. Okay, Zach lands the punch on the feet. They both land a push each. Zach lands the punch on the feet. Slater does a beautiful throw, lands on top, boom, lands a punch. And then uh, Zach tries to get on top but can't, ends up getting back to his feet. So I'd give it to Slater because of the, they both landed a punch, but Slater landed the takedown and, and that big punch on, on the ground for the ground pound. So Slater wins 10-9. Great fight. Come see me for some more breakdowns.